freedom is when you are allowed to change the story, when you are allowed to change the words. But what determines the words and what determines the story? What determines the story that we want to believe as truth? It's our trauma. Our subconscious trauma does not allow us to change the story, does not allow us to change our life. Because everything is controlled by the subconscious. I always like to uh, compare this now to the biblical story, the story of Christianity. You are not allowed to change that. But says who? Why are you not allowed to change that story? If you're not allowed to change that story, that means you are not growing and you're not healing. Because that story at the time was intended for the collective wounded soul, the collective traumatized soul. But in 2000 years, that collective soul has not healed, has not grown, still the same, still repeating the same story as gospel. That gospel doesn't set anyone free. Not really. It gives the illusion of freedom. And it remains an illusion until we become aware of our subconscious trauma and shadows. See, we don't even know why we make the choices that we make. Because we're not aware of any trauma. We're not aware of any trauma in our life. Well, some people are. Some people know they have had trauma, but they're not aware of how that trauma is now affecting their everyday choices, right? It's in the subconscious because it is sub. It's under the waters of awareness. It's under the level of awareness. And the day that you become aware of your right brain, aware of your soul, aware of feeling deeply, feeling the injustice that was dealt you. And you feel that more deeply than just in your conscious mind. The conscious mind that wants to have revenge. You have to feel more deeply than that. You have to feel from the soul. The day you feel that is when you awaken. When you realize there is more to you than just the conscious reactions of the mind, of the logical mind, mental mind. There's more to you. There's some deep waters in you that you have to immerse yourself into, which is the true meaning of water baptism. To be immersed in those subconscious waters into the unawareness to make it aware, to become aware. That is the true awakening, to become aware of those shadow waters. Repent and be baptized, every one of them, uh, every one of you. Turn within 
and be immersed in the waters of your subconscious and you shall be saved <laughs> because you can begin to transmute and alchemize your shadows your lower three chakra centers the fears the anxieties the guilt shame embarrassment condemnation self-criticism barely surviving that's the subconscious that now creates your present life be baptized every one of you be immersed in the subconscious waters of your shadow world and become aware and you shall be saved <laughs>